Bonjour everyone, good morning. Today's a big day. We are jumping from a plane. Forgive my congestion. My allergies have been killing me lately. And I don't really know what I'm allergic to, to be honest, but I've just been waking up really, really congested and my nose is really runny. Anyways, our jump is at 12 today, but it's in Paris, California. It's like an hour and a half, two hours away from LA. And I'm really excited. I wasn't really nervous up until last night and then I started thinking about it a little more. And now I'm like, hmm. Are we actually doing this? <laughs> but it's pretty early right now. I woke up at six and I just got to the gym. I'm about to go into a hot vinyasa class with my best friend Val. And then we'll go home to shower, get ready and catch up before we have to start driving to get on that plane. Okay, be right back. That felt so good. I love the instructor that was teaching this morning. It was hot yoga, but it wasn't too challenging. I did like day yesterday and I could definitely feel it in my legs. They were both really tight and it felt really good to stretch. I work out almost every day, maybe every other day. And honestly, I'm not as good at stretching as I wish I was because stretching is so important, especially when you do a lot of strength training. And so I think that's why I keep coming back to yoga as a practice at home or in classes, just because I need to catch up on all the stretching that I don't do on my own. It's about 8.30 right now. This pimple is coming out. I'm gonna have to put another pimple patch, but <laughs> I took a shower at the gym so that I wouldn't waste time at home because my friend Cam is picking me up pretty soon, I think in 30 minutes so that we can start heading to Paris. It's four of us two girls Renee and Dilvin and Cam and I now I'm really really pumped I think the anxiety just fell through it's also a gorgeous day out today I was scared that it was gonna rain and we were gonna have to cancel our flight what in the halo now my mission is to make it home soon enough so that I can make breakfast because I'm starving and I don't want to jump on an empty stomach but first let me FaceTime my parents because of the time difference the morning is really the only time that I can talk to them so let me get to that. I just had a really good phone call. I'm sorry, the size of this, there's no way I can fit this into my mouth. And there's no way I'm gonna do it on camera. That looks so good. Why do I do this? Mm. Breakfast sandwiches are amazing. Are they a part of American culture? I feel like it's American food. I've never had a breakfast sandwich and I lived in France, but I just had a really good phone call with my parents and my brother. They caught me up to their day and what they've been doing and what they're gonna do the rest of the day. And then I told them that I was jumping off a plane. My mom's face was definitely interesting, but they're overall very excited. The first time I ever did skydiving was with my dad in Guadalupe, Guadalupe. And it was really, really fun. It's such a special memory that I share with him. When I was a kid, my dad would always take us onto like all the crazy adventures that we wanted to do. Like he started surfing with us. He loved going to Disneyland and like crazy rides with us and then skydiving. So it's such a good memory. So it was good to share that with him. I also changed, I'm wearing his t-shirt that I stole from him last time I was in Paris. He's jumping with me in a way. And my brother was really excited. I think he's always wanted to do skydiving, but he's never gotten to, just because things never aligned. But I think next time I go to Paris, I would love to go skydiving with both my brother and my dad. I think it would be such a fun, like, bonding experience. Right now I'm trying to literally swallow my food because my friends are about 15 minutes out and I still have a little bit to do before I head out. So I'll see you guys in the car. <laughs> Renee, are you excited? <laughs> I'm pumped, I'm pumped, I'm so Okay, they're not sure when the weather will go last. Can we still show up yeah. and wait? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll see you soon. So we just got a phone call from the skydiving place and they're saying that they're on a weather hold because it's about to rain in the area. So we don't really know if we're gonna be able to jump just yet. We're gonna go hang out for a minute and see if the weather evolves, but we'll keep you updated. Okay. So we came here to be rescheduled and to fill out our paperwork and they said they were going to try and squeeze us in because the weather is still good for now. So I don't know if we're being really unrealistic <laughs> and really dangerous right now, but I think we're going to jump. You ready? Are you jumping for no. the video? Yeah, I am jumping for content. <laughs> oh, I said yes to everything. You said yes to everything? I'm literally the happiest right now. I called it while we're in the car and I'm so happy it's happening. All right, we're, about, we're about to change <laughs> and... <laughs> and head onto the plane. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> this is it. Noah, hey. what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? What are we doing today? We're jumping from a plane. You guys are all harnessed up, looking yep. good in your jumpsuits. Exactly. How's everybody feeling? Cute. Good. 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 Ready, yeah. Noah, one question for you. Is this your first skydive? It's not. It's not? How many times have you jumped before? Uh, three times.
times. Three times. Yeah. When are you going to learn how to do a solo? I was just talking about it. <laughs> All right, well, let's get you soloed. All right. All right, is it a special occasion for you today, Noah, or are you just yeah. out living life? Out living life. Cool. Is everybody excited? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah! It gets better and better, right? It was incredible. What are we gonna do for your next skydive? Guess we're learning. Solo, huh? Yeah. Cool. We did it! I can't hear. We made it. Not splat. You good? You good? I don't think she likes it. Free, free fall. fall. Did I was you gone. I was an angel. Down? I was an angel in the sky. <laughs> okay, I just made it back home and it is so dark and pouring rain right now. It's about 4.30 p.m. Damn, that really took the entire day. The adrenaline and excitement has definitely died down a little. I feel like after the jump, you just get really like tired because your entire mind was so excited and kind of in fight or flight when you jump from the plane. But the emotions and the experience are just so worth it. I love extreme stuff. And this was just the best. I'll never get tired of it. The people at the skydiving center that we went to were also super, super nice. They played along with the girls who were freaked out a little. I asked so many questions about the certification because jumping in tandem is really fun and like you feel so safe because it's someone who's jumped 5,000 to 25,000 times. I've been doing it for some of them for like 30 years. So you really like, you feel safe doing it. But I feel like there's probably a thrill that you get from jumping on your own that doesn't compare and ever since I was a kid or ever since I did my first jump, which I think I was like 18, I have been wanting to do the certification. It's just really expensive. I think it's like $300 for the first jump and then the full course, which includes 25 jumps total and the entire technical course and all the like learning experience is I think towards four to five thousand dollars. Yeah, it's insane. That's just a lot of money, especially if you're not trying to make it like a job or your career. I really want to do it. So I'm going to spend the next few weeks thinking about it and trying to find ways to justify or to pay less. I don't know. I'll figure it out. That would be such a fun hobby to have. Want to go skydiving? Yeah, let's go. I do feel like the scary part, like jumping, the free fall is definitely spooky. And like, that's when you get the rush of adrenaline when you jump off the plane. But to me, the scariest part is the parachute, like driving the parachute and also landing. The parachute part is scary because... It's really, you're just on your own and you're flying and it's really just the strength of your arms. If you get a cramp or like, I don't know, if you can't pull, you can really spiral. And then the landing part is like when you can really get hurt because the impact and I have a broken foot. So I probably would have to wait a little bit. My, my foot isn't broken anymore, but it, recovering from a broken foot. The person who I was attached to was a woman named Veronica. She was so much fun, so cute, so gentle. Like she really made me feel safe and comfortable, but also really fun to talk to. Her nickname was Big Daddy. Um, I was just calling her Big Daddy the whole time. But yeah, right now I'm just at home. I'm gonna do some work for 30 minutes. And then I have to head out because I'm taking my friend McKenna to her tattoo appointment. I'm just gonna go to support and like Hold her hand through it. We're here with McKenna. <laughs> the whole plan was for her to get an ephemeral tattoo, which is a tattoo Wait, that disappears literally... after a couple years. It's spooky. That's, That's a what it spooky is. looking place. <laughs> I'm not going in here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but. Or maybe on the side? Maybe. Is that him? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... No, you like that one. I think you think the smallest, smallest one? Ones? Yeah. That's fair. Is it like realistic? No, it's like okay. you just flip a coin. <laughs> Heads, it's ephemeral. Tails, it's not. We get yeah, do it. We get permanent. <laughs> flip a coin. It's tails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're yeah. doing it? Yeah. Oh, that's it? That's too bad, right? Wait, that's so fine. You're all done. She is literally such a champ. She really flipped a coin and decided to get a permanent tattoo. The pain wasn't that bad. It was so quick. It honestly made me want to get a tattoo, but 
I'm kind of proud of myself for not jumping on the occasion and being like, yeah, tattoo me right now. I am about to head to dinner, but my phone is about to die. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here so I can keep some battery to use my GPS. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today. I had so much fun. Such an exciting day. Kind of random for Wednesday. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Everything is just Noah Tayeb. And I will see you guys very soon for a new video. Bye!